Peplink this week has introduced a new flagship router for the marine market, the Dome Pro LR, which stands for long range. We've got the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to tell you about the new Peplink Dome Pro LR. This is Peplink's new flagship router for the marine market, and it is really targeting the higher end of the marine market, uh, people with big boats and big boat budgets. This kind of shows you what you can get, kind of the best of the best you can get if you're trying to stay connected in the most extreme circumstances. Now, what the Dome Pro LR does is it combines kind of the Peplink's Pro series of routers that we've tested in the like the Max BR1 Pro and the Max BR2 Pro and even the Max HD1 Dome, the smaller, older dome model they have. And it combines that in an outdoor dome with two 4x4 MIMO antennas with long range, high gain marine antennas all inside this dome, this big dome. And when we say big, it is actually pretty big. It is 18 inches tall, 14 inches diameter, and therefore it is too big for the RV market. You couldn't put this on top of an RV and you'd go through underpasses in a lot of places. It is a tall thing to stick someplace. But for bigger boats that have radar arches, it could be a great option for staying connected because it combines two great 5G modems, it's a dual modem router, with these long range antennas. And Peplink is saying that in their testing and in their reports, they're seeing people stay connected over 25 miles offshore. So that's a quite a long distance from the cellular towers, keeping connected. And well, you got the redundancy of having dual cellular connections. So a lot of capability there if staying connected via cellular is your core goal. Now, this also has built into it a Wi-Fi 6 radio and also a pretty powerful Wi-Fi antenna as well. So you can use it for connecting upstream to a marina Wi-Fi like we have here. This marina actually has great Wi-Fi and we're using our smaller HD dome to connect to it right now. So it gives you the capability of two cellular connections via 5G, Wi-Fi is WAN via the marina Wi-Fi, and then it also supports uh, Ethernet WAN. It's got uh, two Ethernet ports um, that you can have one that goes down to an inside switch or to another Peplink router that you can use in synergy mode to kind of like uh, spread your connection around inside uh, for wired devices. And then a second uh, Ethernet port that can be either a LAN or WAN, so you could chain it to a Starlink power supply and a Starlink also up on your radar arch, and then just have one single wire going all the way down into wherever your tech cabinet is from all that gear that you mount up on your radar arch. So this is kind of the, the, the best of the best that if you're installing something on to a big yacht, but you need the big yacht budget to go with it. The Dome Pro LR star is a $7,999 product. So it is an expensive device. You consider the um, smaller, the uh, single modem um, HD1 dome, um, dome Pro that Peplink has that we have on our radar arch right above me here, $27.99. So big jump up, but you get dual 5G and you get the long range antenna. So if you're really going all out and you want that connectivity as far out as you can, the Dome Pro LR is a good way to do it. A few other quick details about the Dome Pro LR. The modems in it are Qualcomm X62 based, so they are kind of the latest and greatest. This is a, the modem that Peplink has been upgrading all of their product line to have. So this is a 5G phase two modem that has support for 5G bands all around the world, and it should be future-proof for uh, several years to come. So if you're making such a big investment, you don't have to worry about it. Um, so good choice on the modem front. And um, overall, it's a, a really compelling product for people who don't have to ask how much something costs and who don't mind something that big and hefty. Now, for most of us with a more normal size cruising boats and cruising budgets, it just kind of gives you a taste for what you can get. But then there are more affordable options to consider if you do not need that quite extreme connectivity, whether something like the um, dome, uh, HD1 dome that we have or using an internal router hooked up to external antenna. So we've also been testing the Peplink Max BR2 Pro, which is a dual 5G router inside running with antenna cables up to um, Peplink Maritime 40G 4x4 MIMO antenna mounted outside. 
And some people will wonder, like, what is the trade-off between, well, having an indoor router and an uh, outside antenna? You can do that for a lot less cost. But then the trade-off is that antenna cable. First off, these antenna cables are big and hefty and hard to run. And once you've gone more than 20, 30, 40 feet of distance, all the gain from a high gain antenna is completely lost to cable loss. So that is the advantage of a design like a dome that puts the antennas and the modems and the router and basically all the core electronics right there where there is no cable loss. So this is Peplink's new flagship, the Dome Pro LR. You get a taste for what the, the big boats, the big yachts will be having out on top of it in the near future. It is available for pre-order now and will be shipping in May 2024. Now, one more thing. If you are interested in an expensive piece of gear like the Dome Pro LR, it nearly $8,000. One thing to consider is definitely come and join us over at the Mobile Internet Resource Center because becoming a member at our site opens up the door to getting you discounts at other sites. We don't take affiliate kickbacks from sites for our members so that our members get huge discounts on gear when they go out to some of these other vendors. So come join us over at the Mobile Internet Resource Center. And well, if you're buying expensive gear, whether even just a BR2 Pro or an HD1 Dome, or you're going all out and getting the um, Dome Pro LR, you will more than pay for your membership by joining the Mobile Internet Resource Center and helping support us in creating content like this that is freely available and uh, out there on YouTube. So come join us and uh, let us know if you're gonna buy something like this. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.